Welcome to the ACC Student News. The news students can use. I'm Matt Travis. And I'm Diana Ortiz, and here are this week's stories. Do you or someone you know love to draw? Highland is looking for artists to help out on a mural. The Highland Redevelopment Commission is looking to build on the splash of color in the town's commercial heart. The winning artist will get up to $700 for supplies and a $500 stipend. Artists should submit a bio and sketch of their ideas. Make sure they are in JPEG. There is no theme required, but needs to be family friendly. This opportunity is not only open to Highland artists, but artists from anywhere in Lake County. Many people from all over the region are in an uproar about the South Shore expansion project, but specifically the town of Merrillville is opting against new South Shore interceptors. Town Council President of Merrillville, Richard Hardaway, is urging legislatures to vote opposing a bill that would force the town to pay three million dollars more for the South Shore expansion project. Currently, the state and county are covering up to $6.15 million, but the town does not wish to have to pay for even more in this extension project, as it is out of their favor. Can and will a town council president get his way? It's just a normal day when a 30-pound animal comes crashing through our window. Welcome to Chicago. A family from New Jersey was on their way to O'Hare after a college visit here in Chicago. When while on US-20 in LaPorte County, a turkey hit their SUV, penetrated the window, and was killed on impact. The massive turkey left damage to the windshield and roof and gave the family quite a scare. Afterward, the family commented, they will be having ham on Thanksgiving from now on, and later gave the turkey to a local who asked for it. Stolen steel, what exactly is going on? ArcelorMittal USA, who started as the former Inland Steel Company of East Chicago and Indiana Harbor, Indiana, have won a landmark victory within their steel industry. Imported steel worth $732 million last year alone was imported from eight countries, including Austria, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. The United States Customs and Border Protection will be responsible for leveraging this proposed import tax. 55.72% is being proposed on Austria alone, while higher import tax rates will soon follow the rest of the countries investigated. The steel industry has won yet another major victory against foreign competition overseas. Police founded a 15-year-old teenage girl in Chicago was sexually assaulted. The assault was by multiple attackers and was broadcasted on Facebook Live. At least 40 people reportedly watched the sexual assault and not one of them reported it to the police. Authorities believe the teen was assaulted, was last seen on Sunday, was taken to Comer Children's Hospital to be treated and reunited with her mother. Chicago police have arrested two juveniles in connection with the incident. The low-income public housing project in East Chicago, Indiana is hardly recognizable. According to a few remaining residents in the West Calumet neighborhood, it is like a ghost town. Last summer, the families were informed that they were being forced to relocate because of lead and arsenic levels that were high in the city's soil. Since that time, more than 1,000 people have been moved to different homes across Northwest Indiana and as far as Texas and Nevada. This includes 670 children. According to the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, there are still 56 families remaining at the complex. At the end of March, staff members hand-delivered 10-day relocation notices, triggering protest amongst residents and community members. Families have been receiving Section 8 vouchers from the government as compensation for being forced from their homes. And that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Diana Ortiz. And I'm Matt Travis. Watch us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at ACCTVHammond. Until next week.